a lot of new UC Desktop Suite users that attempt to use the application to dial a phone number think they have a problem when the phone number isn't properly formatted, the call fails, and they hear something like this. Sorry, it is not necessary to dial a 1 or 0 when calling this number. Please hang up and try your call again. Most people's initial thought is they have to modify all the phone numbers to be able to dial out using Desktop Suite. This is not correct. In this video, we're going to look at setting up dialing rules in Windows. Windows dialing rules are not part of the UC Desktop Suite, but the UC Desktop Suite makes use of the Windows dialing rules, so they need to be properly configured in order to dial out of your desktop. In Windows 7, Dialing rules are found under Control Panel, then Phone and Modem. I'm going to set up dialing rules as if I'm calling from the 214 area code, which is located in Dallas, Texas. So use this as a guide and make changes to fit your local dialing area. Here is how you make a call from the 214 area code. Calls within the 214, 469, and 972 area codes, you dial the area code plus number. So to call 214-555-2938, you need to dial the number exactly as shown. To call 469-555-7933, I would also dial the number exactly as shown. To call outside any of these area codes, I must dial a 1 first. So to call 262-555-5675, I need to dial 1, 262-555-5675. Here is how you configure the dialing rules to process the calls I just described. Under General Settings, you enter your country or region and the area code. In my case, it's 214. Also under the General tab, Enter the phone number system codes to access a line for local and long distance calls. In my case, both are accessed by dialing 9. Sometimes you need a pause after dialing 9. To enter a pause, add a comma. Next, we need some area code rules since calls in 214, 469, and 972 need the area code but don't need a 1 before it. A word of warning. Windows makes some assumptions about dialing, so be careful. For example, if Windows sees a 10-digit number to another area code, it assumes you need a 1 in front of the area code. So if you tell Windows Dialer to add a 1, you will probably dial 9, the 1 that you instructed it to add, and Windows will add a 1 for you, and you'll end up dialing 911, which is a problem in the U.S. I suggest you don't instruct dialing properties to add a 1 unless your test call fails. That's all there is to setting up dialing rules so your UC desktop suite will dial the number without manual formatting. Thanks for watching.